It is officially time. Let's move in for the 2024, 2025 homeschool year. Guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are starting our eighth year of homeschooling. We have a seventh grader and a third grader, and this video is setting up for the 2024, 2025 homeschool year. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I will try to remember to have everything linked in case you're like, oh, what's that? Oh, hey, there's that. I tend to have a page, I don't have it up yet, but I should by the time this posts, have a links page up that will have all of the links to everything that we are using for the 2024, 2025 homeschool year. I will put it in the description box. It will be linked over to my website with the full page. So there you go. Okay, so here's the process that I usually follow. What I like to do, if you are unfamiliar, and I will show you in a minute so you don't have to stress, but our homeschool space, we do not have a homeschool room. We do not have a, like, a place that we go to for homeschool. We have a living room, and we homeschool in our living room. So what we do do, because I am a person who doesn't like to see a lot of stuff, um, what we do is we actually built a space a table, I'm gonna show you, don't worry. It's a table, it's a Ikea countertop table, and we have two cabinets on either end that face outward. My kids have tall stools that were actually in this house when we bought it. And so they each have a cabinet, and underneath our guinea pig lives. So the guinea pig, like it's a little piece of furniture that we made that is their homeschool space. So each one has their specific needs for homeschool. Okay, and then we have an Ikea cabinet close to there, which the bottom part of the doors you can't see through and each kid has a shelf. So seventh grade and a third grade shelf. And then I have a rolling cart that tucks away, which is everything I need. So like instructor manuals, anything we do together, stuff like that. So that is what we're operating with here, okay? So that is our homeschool storage. I tend to call it small space storage because we just don't take up a lot of space because that's not how we want to roll. Um, if there is anything that I'm hanging on to for like next kid or next grade level, whatever, it is in a box in our storage space in like in the attic. So that is where that is. Yes. Okay. So that is what we're working with. Now, my system, what I like to do at the end of every semester and at the end of every year is I like to pull everything out of all of these spaces, give it a nice wipe down, go back through because there's always like papers, random stuff stuck in there that we don't need to keep or used workbooks or whatever. So we like to pull it all out. And then what I will do at the end of a homeschool year is put in the stuff that's fun. So the stuff that is like art based that we haven't gotten to, the fun stuff, the stuff that's going to be entertaining over summer, games, all of those fun things so they can get that out of their system because I don't like to give them the new stuff until the new year. So then once we're getting ready right now for like a new homeschool year, we'll pull all of that stuff out and load them up with what they're going to need for the upcoming year. So that is this video. Let's pop over and I'll show you everything we're working working with. Guys, I am so excited to announce, look at my little guest stars. Did you see Anna down there and her little, in her little cage? And also guess what? The one, the only Mr. Making Everyday Magic is tapping in and helping out in a huge way. Somehow, um, and it's because if you guys aren't familiar, recently we had a leak in our house for Memorial Day. Our house is now finally under construction. Um, as you can see, it's pouring down rain outside. And so dad is helping out for like the first time ever. He's sitting down and actually it was so much easier with his help to like put things in, take things out. So we started with first cleaning off our school table, which tends to accumulate a lot of stuff. You can actually see it's raining there behind me. So we cleaned off the school table and then um, we started pulling out everything that needs to go in their cabinets for the coming school year. I've sorted it out by kid. As you can see, we've got the guinea pig under this tabletop, like I mentioned, with the two, uh, the two cabinets on either end. So I'm pulling everything out. I've got seventh grader on this end, third grader on the other end, and then the things that I know I'll need in my mom cart right here in the middle. And I'm just sorting and organizing. That was their flow so that I could make sure I had everything. Um, and here's dad helping me organize things and me explaining that I need things in a certain place. So please stop randomly moving things around. Um, and here is, we are taking summer and fun out of the cabinet for my incoming third grader. 
Um, and we didn't wipe it down because I had just done that whenever I put Summer in. Uh, and then going through and figuring out what actually needs to be in her school cabinet, you're going to notice for quite possibly the first time ever, we have such an excess of space in our storage. And uh, we're just getting to the place where we're having more and more things online, more digital. Now we're doing the same thing for my incoming seventh grader, pulling things out, turning it over, making sure we're putting in what we need for the coming year. I love to do this because it lets me get my hands on everything. And that just gives me an opportunity to really evaluate. Yes, there's a couple more crafts left in this box, but is it really worth keeping another year? You know, things like that. Because sometimes a lot of times, especially the craft things, they don't all get 100% used up and I tend to hang on to them. Now, as you can see, our overflow cabinet, it usually is what's coming up for my older one on top and what's coming up for my younger one on bottom. And it, that's not the case this year. Now, here he is. We're starting fresh on our cart, taking everything out. This is actually a really great opportunity this year as well to let my husband see firsthand all the things that we do have coming in. Uh, he always kind of catches up on the back end. He's not always so involved on the front end of it because I tend to do these things during the week because I do like to film and share it here. And now we're just restocking and I've got my youngest on the left, my older in the middle, and then, you know, group things, mom things here on the right. And that's how I'm setting up the cart this year. So I am about to show you, we'll click over and give you a good glimpse. Now we're wiping the table down again with like a nice, like shiny finish because it's just a nice start. The, the pile behind him was our uh, recycle, get it out of the house kind of thing. Now, this is our finished cabinet for our seventh grader. We have her specific things. Look at all that extra space. It's so wild. So her specific craft things or uh, like robotics things, her stop motion photography there on the top. And then this is her like daily bin. So these are the things she's going to be using daily math, thinking, uh, world history detective and the calculator. That's more stuff for this coming year. So her upcoming Michael Clay Thompson books, her upcoming math book, and then the Bear Girls Survival Camp. And then also Simply Draw, it comes loose leaf and I had to put it in the binder. Uh, these Know Your Body Systems, I will have, I think, two different videos coming up on those because we have the, the three-part set for the seventh grader and then the three-part set for the uh, for eighth grade year. So I'm going to give you guys a look inside of those. Um, and that's it. So this is ready for our seventh grader. Now let's pop over and look at our third grader. Now right here inside, you can see all this extra space. It's so wild. So her specific craft sets, her dinosaur bins, Mad Matter, of course, a few extra things, books from previous, books that aren't finished, things we still want to hang on to. And then this is going to be her daily. So we've got her nature drawing in there, skill sharpener, geography, Matthew C., Michael Clay Thompson, her thinking and logic and handwriting. We've got everything in her daily bin. So she'll just pop it open, pull out the one bin, close it up, sit down to do her schoolwork. And then these are the books that will be upcoming, but we're not quite to them yet. So they don't need to be in our daily bin just yet. As you can see, I made a little amendment to that right there. But it's so organized. There's so much extra space, which is really new. And then we just close it up and, uh, oh, watch me fight with this cabinet right here. Okay. Okay. So here is a look at my cart. And as you can see, we've got our readers all about spelling. I actually don't have the right all about spelling teacher's guide to go with the new color version, but I'm kind of mix matchy making it work. Um, all of the books for Michael Clay Thompson for my older daughter, all of the many books for algebra this year. It's a whole new look at algebra. I will be sharing uh, kind of a little bit more of an in-depth than just my first impression. Intro to filmmaking, um, all of the things we're doing for Texas history. And then I've got some uh, watercolor paper in various sizes that I went and bought because I do want to incorporate more of that like uh, you know, doodle notes and sketch notes and, and paintings and, and all of that stuff. And so far, I think it's really well, like as far as I want to just remember that we can do the fun stuff and it's just as valuable. I'll probably talk a little more on uh, like doodle sketch notes coming up pretty soon. Uh, second, second level has always been Matthew C. Blocks. They just fit nicely there. Um, and with the new with the new algebra, we no longer have a DVD for that. Those are our scrunch maps, which just hang on the side of the cart and come in handy all the time. And then I've got all this extra space down here because I've just got one box of cards now. So 
that's where we are. Our All About Learning journey is definitely coming to an end. We've graduated out of All About Reading, so we no longer have those cards in the house, and that's what it is looking like. So look at it. It's, there's so much free space here. Now let's look inside of our cabinet. So this is an entirely new shift for us, and instead of having just gobs and gobs of what's coming next or things that I've got to hang on to but need them handy and so they can't be packed away. It's just fun. It's just fun. We've got puzzles. We've got games. We've got entertaining workbooks. We've got flashcards, painting. Of course, we've got our flow still hanging here on either side so that we are ready to go for the 2024-2025 homeschool year. Just another reminder, it will be our eighth year of homeschooling. We will have a seventh grader and a third grader and we are so excited to get started. Guys, that's it. We're set up. We are ready for the upcoming school year. So excited to get started. It is coming fast and soon. Actually, by the time you're seeing this, we may have already started. So I hope that you find any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I will try to have everything that I have used linked down below. Uh, don't forget, don't snooze on those dollar store containers. Those are awesome. Um, any kind of storagey thing that I can pick up that holds like slides into their cabinet and comes out with their books. I love that personally. I like page flags. All of those things are going to help us stay on track. So yes, excited to start the new year, guys. I think that's it. I think that's everything that I wanted to share. Let me know if you saw a thing. You're like, man, I got to get, I got to get some eyes on that. Can you do a flip through? I want to see more of this. How's this working in practice? How's it going? Any of that. Let me know. I will happily, happily, happily share. So yeah, guys, I think that's it. I think we're ready to roll. Let's go. Let's get started with the 2024-2025 homeschool year.